blown away by last night. <laughs> Thanks again. Saw anything to show you the residence? Next time? Uh, let's cut up Waterside. At the cafe I wanted to show you is just around the corner. Here, grab one. We need all hands. Sorry, I'm not interested. You're not interested in what? Human rights? The violent suppression of dissent? Mass arrest? Too busy spending all of daddy's money to give a crap about any- Hey! Get out of her face! Get him out of here. Let's go. Clear the area. Right now, Nuri Shaheen is the only realistic hope for a democratic, secular Turkey. Which is why he poses such a threat to Tehran. And why Tehran's on the warpath. My contacts at NATO are telling me that he wants to bring a motion to censure the United States. That's absurd. We cover nearly a quarter of NATO's budget. The vote will never carry. No, of course not. But passing the motion isn't Tehran's goal. What is? Undermining us on the world stage. And with the limited goodwill the administration has banked abroad, we can't afford our allies to be taking jabs. Sir. And this isn't even a jab. It's a roundhouse. He's right, sir. We can't let this motion come up for a vote. Aaron, apparently President Tehran is getting ready to move against us in NATO. I've heard, sir. I just got a draft of the measure. It's a stinging rebuke. Well, we'll have Secretary Moss block it. Actually, sir, there's been an issue with the Secretary. He's recently emerged as a person of interest in the murder investigation of Charlotte Thorne. <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? He was having an affair with her and was seen at her apartment a few hours before the murder. Are you kidding? Did he disclose this to anyone? No, sir. He was too busy involving himself in the investigation. Have you talked to him? Not yet. We wanted to reprise you first. <sighs> Son of a bitch. We're talking about a former president here. I know him. He's my friend. There has to be a reasonable explanation. And he should be afforded the same presumption of innocence as anyone else. But he cannot be allowed to obstruct this investigation, not even in the slightest understood. Yes, sir. I'll tell Hannah she'll thread the needle. Secretary Moss is also the U.S. representative on NATO's Defense and Security Committee, which meets here later this afternoon. It would be improper for him to attend, given these facts, sir. If you sideline him, you'll suspect why. Not if I go in his stead. Let them know I'll be stepping in. Will do. <sighs> sir, we can't afford an international black eye with Turkey. We simply can't. Not after Kunami, not while Thorne's murder is still unsolved. I agree. And we start working with Seth on a PR counteroffensive. We are, Aaron. Reach out to our allies. Let them know that our bond with Turkey is unbreakable. We need to nip this in the bud. Yes, sir. Sir, you're needed in the residence. Thank you, Mike. I'll be right there. You should come now, sir. It's not what it looks like. Really? Because what it looks like is you and your girlfriend went to a political demonstration. What the hell were you thinking? No, I didn't. I wasn't there for the protest, Dad. Oh, we're listening. Silva and I were walking to breakfast. This guy comes out of nowhere and confronts her. And you pushed him? Well, I pushed him away. He got in her face and she's like 90 pounds. Look, I I'm sorry, Dad, but if that was Mom, what would you have done? What kind of exposure is he looking at for this sort of thing? We could argue defense of others, so they'd have a hard time making out assault. Misdemeanor disturbing the peace if the DA wants to make a name for himself, but then we could argue selective prosecution. Prosecution? We're not going to let anything bad happen to you, okay? Will this affect my college applications? No. You're going to have to explain it like you just did to us, but we'll handle it. I need to go check on Sybil. Yeah. Okay, thank you. That was Kendra. The guy he pushed just hired Bella Conway. Oh. So here comes the civil suit. Yeah. 